Hello everyone and welcome to another Computer Software Is Your Friend video. Today I'm going to show you another uh, Windows 8 feature and that happens to do with PDF files. Now in previous versions of Windows you had to install a PDF reader like Adobe Reader for example to read PDF files. However, in Windows 8, uh, Microsoft actually has a built-in reader that takes the Metro style. Um, it does have some benefits and it does have some drawbacks, however, and we'll get to that in a few seconds. So over here, I have a PDF document that I downloaded a long time ago. And uh, basically, if you double click uh, a PDF document, you're gonna get a full screen reader um, and essentially it's it's a guide and uh, you can get this online somewhere I don't remember where but you can get uh, guides and you can get basically cool stuff that you can read um, this was before I started using uh, Mac because at the time the only experience I really had was with Windows so ultimately down here you have a plus and you have a minus button, this, these are to zoom and um, if you right click you can search the document for something, I don't know, I guess I'll search for music and um, it will find all of the music labels within this document and then you can close it there. Um, you can display it as two pages instead of one and uh, you can scroll through the pages with the available um, buttons here which essentially would be nice on a tablet because all you would have to do is put your thumbs onto these buttons um, if you display it as one page you're basically going one page at a time exact same system scroll wheel doesn't work for this let me just note that so you might want to use the continuous if you're on a PC because you can use the scroll wheel with it. Now the other options over here are open, save as, uh, rotate, info, bookmarks, and close file. Uh, bookmarks is basically in some documents uh, based on the way that they're constructed with headers and that uh, you can actually um, skip to certain parts of a document using this and this is really nice um, I don't think they had this in the release preview uh, so this is new to the app and you can skip around and this is really convenient um, there doesn't seem however to be something where you can search for a particular page um, let me just try to find again. Let's see if I can find page 49. Um, ultimately, I would probably have to click this, but I think that's document specific. You see here I can get to 49, but let's say I, if I was in a math document or something with a lot of numbers, maybe I wouldn't be able to get this result as quickly. So now, basically, if you decide to close this file, more and close file, you're going to be brought to a, a reader uh, screen. Uh, you can't right click here, but it will show you the documents you've recently had open. Uh, the recent pages too, bookmarked, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it will bookmark where you were last, where you last left off which is quite handy and if you need to open another uh, file um, it will give you it will give you a metro version of a file manager this is a clean install so I don't have any files in here I just dragged this one off from a from an external hard disk and I put it on the desktop for this tutorial so ultimately you would open it like this and voila we're back to the document so I've showed you this document um, the drawback is that you can't have multiple documents open at the same time 
which is kind of a hassle because if you need to compare two PDF documents, I know I've had to do this in the past, you can't just snap them one here and one there. Another thing is that the snap capabilities with Aero, what well, with Metro, sorry, don't go 50-50. They actually take um, more of a, a one quarter to three quarter approach. So this is the PDF app that comes with it. So if you're on a tablet or if you're on a PC and you just want to browse through a PDF document, it's fine. But if you really want to get work done, you may need another monitor or you may need to install Adobe Reader one way or another. So this has been another computer software is your friend video. Uh, do let me know what you think of the PDF reader that comes with Windows 8 if you haven't tried it already. Um, try it and let me know. Um, and as always, if you like my content, the subscribe button is above and the social media stuff is in the description it is very important that if you like our stuff that you follow us and let us know that you like our stuff um, and of course if you have any questions or comments that is the best way to get in contact with us so until the next video this has been another computer software is your friend video